Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to this wonderful new video that I'm very, very glad to say. We won't, we won't spend too much time out here because of that fan making all the noise, but I'm getting my hands on the new Supra. And this one is by Eventuri, the guys down here at Evolve and Eventuri have created this absolute beast. Let's not waste time, let's go, let's go. Oh, what's up? So you now join me inside of the Supra. I have been using this Supra for the last about an hour. I've been driving around, getting the grips with it. Before I jumped into the video and spoke to you about it, I wanted to be out, getting to grips with the car and understanding it and feeling how it feels. Purely because I don't want to do a video where I just talk based off of the very first drive. I don't feel like it's fair on the car because I don't really get to get used to it. I don't think it's fair on you. I mean, we're giving me time in your day to do so. Yeah. To really get to grips with it, get out and drive it. I've took it through a town. I've took it around some little lanes. I've took it through a normal driving roads and a motorway. So I feel like I've kind of over the last hour kind of come to grips with how this car works. This car is the Eventuri demo car. It's one of the cars that they are producing parts for, which we'll get to more in a minute. But I just wanted to initially run over how this machine has made me feel. I also need to give you a little bit of a disclaimer before we jump into everything with my opinion, because that's what this is, remember? All back down to my opinion. This car itself, on paper, is my dream. I love Japanese cars. I love German cars. I love Toyota. I love BMW. What this is, is their love child, okay? This has taken all of the best bits that Toyota can bring to the table and all of the best bits that BMW can bring to the table and they have combined into this sports car that is just, I mean, look at this, I'm smiling, man. This car is so good. I, I am sorry, like, I know there's so much noise online with regards to the new Toyota being a BMW and all this sort of stuff. But realistically, what do you get at, from BMW? A lot of the car. Why is that a bad thing? And why I literally cannot even begin to think why that would be a negative. My least favorite thing about Japanese cars is their interiors. The interior in this Supra is basically a BMW, which means it's really, really nice and I just absolutely adore it. The carbon fiber, the clear gloss, mirror finish panels, the dash, the dials, amazing. Not a huge fan of the steering wheel design, but overall it feels great in the hands, which is obviously the main thing. The BMW iDrive system are very, very easy to use. I can't fault it. I'm not just gonna sit here. I think it'd be easy for me to sit here and be like, oh, it's really turned, oh, it's this and that, it's not a proper super, but I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm not one of those guys that's going to be like that. I am just going to be straight to the point and honest about how this car makes me feel. I'm also going to be bringing a lot of attention to the, the work that Evolve Eventuri have done on this car. I am so honoured to be driving it. I have not ever been gifted a car this incredible to go drive around and it not be that limited to what they just gave me the keys and were like, go and enjoy it. This is a 2019 Toyota Supra that comes with the B58 BMW engine, three liter single turbo, same engine that they kind of developed in the uh, M140s and then obviously it's had additional development done by Toyota themselves as well as BMW to bring, bring it to where it's at. It's got the ZF, ZF8 speed gearbox in this thing too. Oh God, I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm so sorry, peeps. I wonder if I can, oh, I can go this way, okay. It, the gear changes are sublime, fast, Enjoyable. I'm gonna pull over. This is a very expensive car that I do not want to damage. The noise it makes is insane. Oh, God damn, it's so good. I'm sorry that I'm getting a bit uptight about it already, but it's just fantastic. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I never really looked at much of these. I was kind of one of those guys that was like, eh, it's just a modern car, whatever. But then being in this thing, man, and this one's a modified one, okay? So this is a bit more of me than the, the standard one would ever be. I'm not gonna lie, the wheel choice they have on it, I think is amazing. I think they look fantastic. They fit the arches perfectly. What we have is the Eventuri carbon intake that they in-house have made for this vehicle. The Even Eventuri carbon engine cover that just looks absolutely stunning when you open up the engine. I always feel with these newer cars where they put them big covers over the engine, it just gives you nothing to look at. Even my V8 and my M3, there's 
not much to see because there's just this big plastic cover on it. So the guys over at Evolve slash Eventuri, they're, 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 they are their master company. They're just superb. Their attention to detail, their craft, their... They're, they're, they're great, like genuinely, they're such great dudes. I'm so glad I brought it up here. So the car is now running a pure 800 turbo on this vehicle and the stock map on this is for, um, is 460 on the stock turbo. Current power, they're still developing the, the perfect map for this, but it's at 550-ish brake horsepower running on Shell 99 pump fuel. Amazing. This car is fast. It is fast. So uh, right now, got my my good friend that you'll know from the channel if you've watched before Tom Peck with me hey. what do you reckon man hang on wait just keep it on your face for oh one second hang on God. keep it on your face for one second hang on let's get this little bit of straight road <laughs> yeah. this is fucking oh up fast after the turbo has spooled and is ready to unload oh my god it is fast it's got a super sprint catalyst downpipe and full exhaust that just sings it is just amazing <laughs> CFS heat exchange as well. I'm just going off some of the spec list here just to get it over to so I can then go out and just drive the car and just really go through the paces with it and explain how friggin' awesome this thing truly is. Apex Springs and the wheels, they are 660 design forged Crackham wheels, I believe. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna have to ask one of the guys. Um, in stock sizes, just as a different offset perfect they are perfect fitment like i said this thing really is on paper like i said perfect for me it's got the german build quality with all the japanese flair i love it i'm just gonna be honest i love it i've been driving around like i said for about an hour this thing is absolutely superb i'm sold i'm absolutely sold i want i'm not gonna lie after driving this around i actually think i've now found my next car I do feel I will end up in one of these Toyota Supras. It's just a matter of when and how the hell I'm going to afford it because I really don't want to have to part with my E92 M3. That, is, that was my dream car forever, but if it has to go to make way for one of these one day, then I'm going to enjoy the M3 as much as I can, and then we will part it and part ways and get myself into one of these Supras. The engine revs to about 6,800 6, revs um, on the current uh, Speedo. So obviously the engine compared to what I'm used to is not a, na a massively high revving thing, but the power is there when you need it and it still does scream. It sounds absolutely awesome. Oh, it's a monster. It's an absolute monster. And I'm gonna say this right now to every little internet warrior that doesn't like these because it's a BMW. Why is that a bad thing? What they've done is they've created an amazing car and given it to Toyota for them to finesse. I can't think of a better partnership. I hope this is a partnership that... <laughs> I hope this is a partnership that lasts forever! Wow! Wow! I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, this is, this is something else, man. And without BMW, this car would not exist. That's what we need to remember. Like, steering, pinpoint accurate. It feels like it dances it. I don't know what the weight distribution is, but whatever it is, is perfect for me. I, let's talk about stuff I don't like real quick. Mm. There's nothing I don't, there's nothing I don't like about it. There's, there's nothing, like, the noise, phenomenal. Obviously, this is a modified one. It is a bit more special than your average Supra. The, the way this thing handles, man, it's, it's so good. And I cannot believe how people are writing these off just because of what? You liked the old one from 20 years ago. Are you mad? <laughs> Amazing, really, isn't it? 
Andrew Strang, I'm looking at you, my dude. Take your blinkers off, bro. When you put your foot flat to the floor, I'm, I will be honest with you, I've only done it, I have only done it two times on this journey, purely because this is their car. I do not want to be getting in trouble with it. Um, they've been kind enough to let me in to do this video and I don't want to dick about, but the couple of times I have done it, right, let's put it in a sport. So you put it, knock it over in a M mode and then you hit the sport button, we'll drop it down. Right, okay, let's put it in a fourth here, up against this lorry, ready? The dials on the dash are beautiful. I love this car. I love it. And I know people are like, oh, it's BMW inside. I love it there's a BMW inside. It's not crap and Japanese. It's so good. It's a Japanese car that's actually got a nice interior. Unbelievable. Finally, finally a car that I would be happy to do a lot of miles in and not feel like I'm gonna break my back getting in and out of it. These seats, really comfortable. I love it. I love it. Incredible, man. Incredible. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing is how this car really does have split personalities. Much like my women that I tend to go for. I think that's probably why I quite like it. This thing is the most comfortable cruiser I've been in in a long time. Just drive it along on a road is lovely, just a lovely place to be. So the car really is a lovely cruiser as well. Just driving along, it's super nice super contained it's just a lovely place to be and i don't even have to put it in a sport mode for it to do this <laughs> it is so good it's so so good not only that if you're only going to be using this car for day-to-day -day use it's got a jbl audio sound system in it which thumps it's brilliant all of the controls are very easy to use it's a bmw i drive system it's always going to be easy to use the, sat, the, the cruise control is brilliant. It's got like the active, active gap as well, so it keeps you from the distance in the car in front. And I've been using that on the motorway as well. I love it. I think this is a brilliant car, and I feel disappointed that so many people have wrote the idea of it off purely because what it impeaches on there. Um, what, what would the word be? Impeaches on their brand loyalty? It's still a Toyota Super Boys, I swear. This is so good. Wow. I really want one. I think I've found my next car. No, no, no joke. I think I have found my next car. Now I've just got to work out and get one. <coughs> Toyota. <coughs> Actually, I found something I don't like. I'll tell you right now. I don't like, there we go, my one thing I don't like. I do not like how the sat nav system sits on top of the dashboard. I wish that was all one thing. I don't like these big blocky things that just sit on the outside. They're annoying. Unbelievable, it's just out of range. Okay, I found another thing I don't like. So I like having my window cracked a little bit, even in rain. And if you do it in here, hang on, let me twist the camera. Can you see all the rain running in? I'm soaked. Man, that's annoying. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of rain on the road, boys. Be careful, team. Let's get this baby back safe and sound. That's my time with the Supra over for now. For now. I see why LZ went and bought another one after giving his away now. <laughs> a magical bit of kit. You've got the best of both worlds. What's, what's the hate about that? You've got the German technology and refinement mixed with the Japanese flair. If we, this car is obviously shared with the Z4 platform, but look at how much better the Toyota version looks than the Z4. This thing's a masterpiece. I absolutely love it. And the guys down here at Evolve have only made it better. I can't wait to see how much better they make this. When I get mine, I'm gonna bring it straight here, and I'm gonna give them loads of money to have mine this good. Right, cheers for watching, guys. 
Uh, if you don't mind dropping me and my friend over here, Tom Peck, a follow. Just go, hello. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my experience with the Supra. If you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments down below. I'm not wrong, you are. Take your blinkers off, Andrew Strang. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty special car, I'll it give you that. It's a special car, man. I love it, I love it. And I wanna thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Peace.